Yo guys, welcome back to another video, and the 12th abandoned car for New Speed Payback is here. It, they usually do come out on a Tuesday, but it's a Wednesday today, because of the big 7 gigabyte update for yesterday. We got some new events and cars and stuff, so fair enough, at least I've done one. But I'm going to show you the location, and we're going to find out what car it is. I hope it's not a car I've already got, there's about two cars I haven't got, but here we go. Nearby abandoned car, it's just over here. I will show you on the map. It is over here to the west. Now, you may have a garage there, so you can just fast travel there or to the petrol station right there. And you just need to set a waypoint and drive here. So, it's, it's not that far, really, but whereabouts is it? It's got to be in this shed. There's no actual entrance. I can see it. What is it? Oh, so this was Skyline. This was Skyline 2000. Nice. Yep, get the car to Rav. Just under five miles to go. Not too far, really. But is this quick? I've not got this car yet, either, so... I'm glad we got it. But the police are here. It's quite nice, this thing. It's fairly quick for an abandoned car. It's quite quick. It's quite nice, that. Is it heavy? Well, we... Well, I obliterate the police car and myself. Oh, slammed by a police car there. Nearly got caught there. Never mind. I don't know how much of the uh, police chase I'll include, but yeah, I'll just cut to bits that are interesting. Whoa, he got obliterated. Destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. Hopefully you guys quite like this abandoned car and you guys know where the location is. Leave a like if you do, but we need to get this car some wrap. Also, subscribe if you're new around here. I do these every week there's an, when there's a new abandoned car, so yeah, now. Got some cool videos coming out soon as well. I've literally been recording like six videos this morning. And this is like the seventh one. It's crazy. Um. Um. I don't know what happened. I must have hit something. I don't know. Almost got caught as well. Almost busted there. But anyway, we need to keep going. Oh, a rhino. Just missed a rhino. I didn't see it, <laughs> I just saw right on the screen and then I saw that. Oh, that was crazy. Almost crashed right into it. Yeah, this car's good, it just destroys police cars like there's no tomorrow. What insane car this is. Oh no, another Rhino, there it is. There. Oh, we got hit, we got hit, but can't keep... I've got to go inside. <laughs> Rhino's not really impacting me too much, which is quite good. We're still going. No, Rhino! Rilo, I didn't see that. It's okay. We turned in here anyway. Whoa, that was scary. I didn't even see it. Oh, police in the way. Oh, oh, that's solid. Well, there's a bit of dirt, so I don't know. <laughs> Another Rhino. Whoa, dodge that Rhino. I think the police got to ease off now. Yeah, they're easing off. We got within, uh, well, like 1,700 yards, I think it is, and they start to ease off. There we go, not going to catch us now. But we will have made it without getting caught. Second time, I've done it first time as well. Like, last week when it was the abandoned Volvo 242. First time I got there without getting caught. And this week, first time getting it there without getting caught. And here we are. We have escaped 5 minutes 17. Didn't seem that long, really. But obviously it is. Now we can do some customization to this car. Bit of carbon fibre onto there, of course. I just want to get rid of all the rust, really. I wonder what this car will look like when it is finished. I quite like those wing mirrors where, there. They look quite cool. Uh, front bumper, we'll do something with that, of course. This is going to look like a beaten car, isn't it, really? Change of reef can also do the doors as well. Yep. There we go. What else can we do? We can do the rear fenders. That exhaust looks mean on this. Really does. Uh... Just always sticking with the same stuff. Spoiler. Oh, what can we add? I quite like that one's quite small, that. It's not too high up. Quite nice, but that's everything done. Just need to change the side skirts, and there we go. Let me just add something else to it. I reckon we, we lower it. Always. Stupid amount of camber as well. There we go. You know, you can never go wrong with a stupid amount of camber. On a Nissan Skyline. We can, but... Ha, <laughs> look at this thing. That's mad. 
It's actually fairly quick as well. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if this did help you or you did enjoy. Go get this car. It's a great car. I highly recommend you do it even if you don't have it or even if you do have it, just go get it. It's a cracking car. Subscribe if you want to around here. But until next time, guys, peace out. But I already know I'm going to get it now, though.